It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, who happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. How do you like my Wildcats? Not bad, huh? Not bad, Rye. Two national championships in three years. You know, Philly's on a winning streak now. They're, they're calling a Supernova. We got a Super Bowl and a Villanova national championship, the NCAA basketball tournament. I'm not so sure how happy our New York fans are about that, our listeners, but uh, as a Villanova well, their son, alumni... Their son or daughter went to Villanova like my son, you went to Villanova. They're going to be very happy. <laughs> they're going to be extremely happy. It's really a golden age for uh, Villanova basketball. I only take some of the credit, Bob, but, uh, but Jay Wright's a great coach and uh, they had a great team this year. And he's built a dynasty out there on the main line, son. Yes, he is. And Bob, I've got some uh, financial trivia for this morning. So I know how much you lose sleep over how much those New York City bankers are getting paid, where their bonuses just hit a new high since the financial crisis. Do you want to guess how much their bonuses are up for uh, 2017? Now, you're talking about the investment bankers or you're talking about the CEOs of the money center banks? I'm talking about the investment bankers. You know, these guys that we worry about don't make enough money as it is. Well, I know they're poor and impoverished, so I'm, I'm hoping they've gotten a a raise this year because the markets have done very well. So I'm going to say they're up 100%. 100%. I mean, that's you're being very generous. They're actually up okay. 17%. Uh, 184,000 is the average banker bonus. And uh, you know, so it sounds like Wall Street's coming back, I guess, in some kind of way. That sounds like a good year's salary to me. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So you can rest easy, Bob. The, the bankers are doing okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we have a great show for you this morning. To help you on your path to financial freedom, we're going to talk about music and money, two of my favorite topics. Bob and I are going to dissect some of the decisions some of the richest musicians in the world have made to create wealth and how we can emulate some of their decisions with our own planning and investing. We're going to talk about pensions. Remember pensions? We're going to discuss what to do with those old pensions if you even have one and how to turn your portfolio into a pension if you don't. Along with this week's financial pornography. There's a lot of stuff out there in the financial media we need you to avoid to be good investors. And we have our spotlight segment with our financial advisor, Jen Financial Angel. She's going to talk about some of the issues a couple had with their retirement and investing so we can learn from that. So great show this morning. Let's kick it off. Let's talk about music, Bob. Let's talk about some of the richest people in the music industry and see what lessons we can learn from you know, what they did with their money. And I guess the first question would be, Bob, who do you think is the richest musician in history? Well, it's got to be Michael Jackson or Paul McCartney, because I, I think the Beatles, they had to be the greatest uh, musicians ever. And I don't know if they were great musicians, they're great songwriters. But I do know that Michael Jackson bought their song book and uh, owned the rights to all of their songs. So I would say Michael Jackson. You would think. I think that would be probably the most logical choice, but it's actually Andrew Lloyd Webber. Remember Jesus Christ Superstar, Cats, Fan of the Opera? All those different musicals were by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and he's actually worth about $1.2 billion. No way. Yeah. Well, wow. he set up his company in 1977 to ensure that the shares and the profits of all his work in any form including all the ticket agency and venues, went to him. So he constantly gets royalties on all those different you know, hit musicals that he wrote. My goodness. I think, uh, well, Cats was probably one of the longest running shows in the history of Broadway. But Fan of the Opera, I'm sure, is, is still running up on Broadway. You'd have to check, Rye, on your way home from work tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look. But yes, they were all some of the most successful Broadway shows in history. And I think the lesson we can learn from that, Bob, is he set this company up and he has what you call residual income. And you and I talk about how critical in retirement planning income is and how you have to have residual income on your portfolio to really survive retirement. Well, that sounds pretty simple, Rod, but there's a lot of people out there selling products that tell you, oh, here's how you can have income that you can't outlive. 
but there's a lot of problems with some of these issues. You know, for example, you know, if they want to put all of your money into a fixed annuity, it sounds good, gives you an income stream every year for the rest of your life. But there's a big problem with that. It's called inflation. And, you know, when you have an annuity, it doesn't overcome inflation. All right. What, what can that do to your buying powers? That's right. Because once you turn on an annuity income stream, it's the same amount of money for the rest of your life. And even worse, and a lot of times you give up your principal. And you know that's one of the lessons we can really learn from Andrew Lloyd Webber is he has shares in his company. So mm-hmm. you know having your principal that generates income as opposed to giving up your principal is really a critical component. So it's really important to understand how you structure your income in retirement so that you don't lose liquidity. So Bob, one of the other wealthiest musicians in the world happens to be an artist from Ireland. Want to take a wild guess who that is? That's pretty easy. That's Mr. Bono of U2. Yes. He's worth $600 million, which is crazy. That's a lot of money. Um, well, not and, really. When you think about it, he gets $800 million a tour. That's right. So funny enough, he actually made his money in more ways than one. You think it'd just be from music. I mean, I love the Joshua Tree, one of my favorite albums, but they grossed, to your point, Bob, over $800 million, U2, from 2009 to 2011. But he was also one of the major investors in Facebook on its IPO. So he made a lot of money in the markets along with his tour, you know, diversified income, really. He must have been listening to us on the radio, right? Because he's diversified (laughs) his portfolio to provide, you know, less risk, income streams for the rest of his life. So he doesn't have to get up every day and sing for his lunch. I think that is, that's probably the only logical reason I could come up with is clearly he probably gets satellite radio, tunes into no pain, no gain every weekend and clearly diversified his money. So kudos to you, Pano, for being an astute investor and listening to the right investment advisors. And Bob, another more modern musician or artist that made a lot of money is Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or just plain old Diddy, and he's worth $540 million. Is because he has so many names? How do you make his money? Well, I think because he keeps changing his name so the IRS can't find him, and that's why he's able to keep (laughs) as much money as he has. Is that that the case? Actually, he actually has a, a diversified empire as well. He's developed his own clothing line. He actually owns a piece of a vodka brand. He actually owns his own cable music network. So, you know, he's been smart enough to diversify over... I would say, you know, not necessarily fads, but really more consumer staple type businesses that have longer term growth prospects. Well, he's really a brilliant business person. He he's diversified the income that he's made. He's he's created different companies. Now, not everybody can have four hundred million or five hundred million dollars to invest in companies, but you can diversify your portfolio, you know, across asset classes as within asset classes. And you know, Rye, one of the big mistakes that I see are people that work for big major corporations like a Johnson and Johnson. Like I spoke to a client the other day and they get their salary from Johnson and Johnson. They invest in Johnson and Johnson 401k stock. They put, uh, they get their income from the options and the restricted units, you know, that the company pays them and they don't think they're taking any risk. Yeah. It's crazy. And you think because you work for a company, you have some gifted insight into the future. And I always tell the story, but I worked at Merrill Lynch, and you worked at Merrill Lynch, Bob, and I was there right before Merrill Lynch collapsed, and I didn't have any gifted insight that the stock was going to plummet and the company was essentially going to get bought out for almost nothing by Bank of America. So, you know, we don't have gifted insight even if we work for a company. There's things going on you don't even know about, even if you're right there in the thick of it or even know people you think that are in the thick of it. And why screw it up? You know, diversification, we know it works with less risk. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get a game plan together for retirement. I need to figure out what my income streams are going to look like, what kind of diversity I'm going to need to get through retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. So if you bring in every statement you have from all the different financial institutions where they're held, we're going to plug that all into one personalized portal for you so we can get a bird's eye view of your total situation. If you bring in your will, we'll have our estate planner review it to see what updates or changes you want to make to your estate plan. And if you bring in your tax return, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. And then we're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. That means looking at income. Income is so critical in retirement. Can you increase or optimize the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. A lot of these mutual funds, insurance products. 
real estate investments. They have a lot of costs you don't see. We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. And finally, we're going to look at diversification. How diversified are you? Is your money spread out? What risk do you have? Are you protected against the next market downturn? We're going to show you how to protect yourself. And then we're going to determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So just call us or give us a text at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers or 10 texters and you have over 200,000 saved for retirement, we're going to run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. The only thing that happens if you don't call, you don't get a plan. So give us a call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And the roller coaster ride of the stock market continued this week. And it reminds me of the famous quote of legendary investor Sir John Templeton, who said that the four most dangerous words for an investor are it's different this time. And although the recent market volatility feels different, it's only different than last year when volatility was virtually non-existent. Now, if you view the market over the last 38 years, going back to 1980, of course, that was the year my son Chris was born, 29 of those past 38 years, the market had a positive return. That's 76% of the time the market was up for the year. But the markets didn't move in a linear fashion and experienced volatility, not that dissimilar to what we've had recently. See, the market actually drops on average 14% sometime during the year. Now that's an average. That's sometimes a shallow dip, sometimes a very deep dip, but on average about 14%. Actually, in any given year, you're going to experience one 10% decline and five 5% drawdowns. That's one 10 and five fives. So, so far in 2018, we're way ahead of schedule. We've already had one 10% dip and we've had four 5% declines and it's only April it would appear that volatility is actually cyclical in nature. When you consider prior to January of this year, the previous year and a half, we didn't even have one 5% drawdown. Now keep in mind, all action in the markets are mean reverting. So the pendulum is simply swinging from one extreme of no volatility to what may now appear extreme volatility when what we're really only getting to is back to average. Now, you're wondering, who benefits from all this short-term volatility? Well, it's you, of course, the long-term investor. The recent pullback came just in time to reinvest your quarterly dividend distributions, your bond interest payments, and your retirement plan contributions. The markets were just trading at all-time record highs just two months ago. History books show us all dips in history are temporary and new highs inevitable. So act accordingly. If you're sitting here wondering, what's my next move? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Text or call us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. Bob and I want to educate you. We're simple men. We like to keep it simple. So we like to keep it simple for you. We put together our latest course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple course. You can download it for free. All you need to do is text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. It just gives you a baseline to get your retirement planning started, get you thinking about it. They're simple, quick videos. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. 888, that's the word bullish, 
to 555-888. Get our newest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Can't Outlive. Again, 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. So in this segment, Bob, let's talk about pensions. You know, how many companies do you come across in your area that actually still provide pensions? You know, I noticed that uh, we barely see them at all anymore unless you've worked for a big company for many, many years. Well, right. There's a lot of companies that still provide pensions, but not to the people that work there now. For example, I'm going to start my pension from good old Mother Merrill in about three months, but that's only from the years that I worked in the 70s and the 80s, early 80s. They don't provide that for any employees anymore. Yeah, it's uh, we've seen this big trend going from the company provides for your retirement to now you have to fend for yourself. And that's really where the 401k or your retirement plan through work has become the big nest egg that you're going to actually need to have to live off of, not the pension your company provides. That's true. And pensions, I mean, it's a golden ticket. When you have a large pension that gives you a fixed payout for the rest of your life, you have to have millions of dollars invested you know, to try and duplicate or replicate a good pension. But, you know, they're not around any longer and and you're on your own and you have to make sure that you're doing the proper planning, you know, to replicate that strategy. Yeah. And I mean, the other option you get a lot of times now is a buyout of your pension or you can get what you call a lump sum. Mm -hmm. And one thing I think you have to consider is if you decide to go for the pension option where they pay you, if that company goes out of business, a lot of times, so does your pension. Whereas if you take the lump sum... (laughs) Yeah, it's a huge risk. It's a huge risk. That's why it's worth running the numbers to see, is it worth me to take the money on my own and create what we would call, Bob, like a pension-like income? And that's really how we do our retirement planning is we build portfolios that you essentially are turning your own personal pension on in retirement so you can live off of that as a supplement to Social Security and other incomes you're going to receive. Yeah, I see that so many times, Ryan, when you get a, you get an opportunity to uh, you know take a lump sum or you know to take that fixed payout. Most people don't consider the fact that that money is at risk because a company, you know, all companies can fail. You know, the markets have never gone to zero, but every year there are companies that go out of business. So you have to really take that into consideration, but you also have to run just the projections and run the numbers. I mean, you can look at a well-diversified balanced portfolio and you can see what the current income is based on the history. And you can see what the future income looks like. So a lot of times it just comes down to comparing apples to apples. And you need, you know, you really do need a fiduciary to sit down and do that analysis for you, someone you can trust. Oh, yeah. Because I think the biggest mistake you're most likely making now is you have this portfolio that's built for growth. We talk about this a lot. That mm-hmm. portfolio that you own right now probably got hit hard in 2008 when the markets got clobbered, markets recovered, but you haven't changed your portfolio. But now it's 10 years later. You know, maybe you're close to retirement, maybe you're in retirement. So, the really cool thing, and the thing that I like that we do, Bob, is that we do that income analysis to look at okay, how can we generate more income on your portfolio without touching your principal essentially throughout your lifetime? And a lot of times that's the case. We can generate enough income to live on where you don't actually touch your principal or give it up. Yeah, you know, Rye, that old expression, the, the trend is your friend. You know, 2017, we had a market that went up every month, right? We had 12 consecutive months without a pullback. And all of a sudden we had, unless, you know, you've been living under a rock, like you like to say, we've had extreme volatility. But you know what happened this past week? Every one of our clients, and you know, remember, I've been doing this for 43 years. So I've got a lot of clients that have been retired now for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Every one of our clients received their income distribution from their dividends and their interest last week didn't matter that the stock market was more volatile in February and March than it was in February and March of last year. So income is something that's much more dependable than capital gain. And you know what? The last I checked, I took my client out to lunch this week. You can't buy lunch with relative performance. You actually have to write a check or pay cash or give me your credit card. Now you have to have income. Yeah. And there's so many ways to what we call optimize that where you have, to your point, Bob, a reliable income stream that's not dependent on the market going up or down. And it's not an annuity, right? Because a lot of times we talk about this with these insurance products, you have to give something up. And in my mind, if I'm in retirement or close to retirement, 
I want to have as much liquidity as possible, meaning I want to be able to get to my principal if I if I need to. Giving up principal, I think, is a very dangerous game to play as a retiree. Yeah, but right, you know, the big problem is inflation, right? The cost of everything goes up. The you know, cost of yes. living doubles about every 20 years. How do you overcome inflation with fixed income? Good point, because if I'm just, you know, if I'm receiving the same amount of money every year, yet the cost of living is going up, that's a problem. And that needs to be figured out in your retirement plan. And that's the nice thing about a diversified portfolio is the dividends go up. The income actually increases over time. And we can do a cool model, Bob, where we can say, okay, in 10 years, here's what the income on your portfolio is going to look like. And this is how much you can draw on your portfolio above and beyond what you're getting in Social Security and pensions or whatever other income streams you have. And that's a very powerful thing to look at. Yeah, I think that's something that a lot of people fail to realize. They, they look at the stock market and they see it, a lot of cases, yielding 2%. And then they look 20 years ago, it was yielding 2%. And they look 40 years ago and it was yielding 2%. But it's not yielding 2%. The price has gone up. I think the stock market doubles about every seven to 10 years. And so do the dividends. So it's an increasing income stream. And that's the ultimate hedge against inflation is to have a portfolio of high quality companies that generate dividends, not just current yield, but increasing yield. You know, like like an increasing yield investor. You want an increasing income portfolio, not a fixed income portfolio. Yeah, exactly right. Because here's a scary statistic, Bob. If you have a million dollars today, it's worth about half a million dollars in 20 years just because cost of living has gone up. So sitting in cash is not a plan. As we say, cash is trash because you're earning virtually nothing. You really need a plan that incorporates compounding income that's increasing over time. You know, I hear this every day from every one of our clients that's retired. You know, they can't believe how much their real estate taxes keep going up, their health care costs keep going up. You know, all the things that we've talked to them about for the last 40 years are coming true. And, you know, they're so happy that we met 20, 30, 40 years ago to put the plan together because without a plan, you're going to be lost if you don't understand inflation. And, you know, if you're thinking, you know, I don't have a plan that helps me to overcome inflation, I'm not so certain that my portfolio is is built to withhold the things that Rye and Bob are talking about today. What we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, you know, we'll do a complete total financial master plan for you and your family. This is a full holistic review. We're even going to give you access to our new 360 financial portal, which will look at everything. We're going to look at your tax return. We're going to have a CPA partner review your return to make sure that you're not overpaying your taxes based on the new tax law. Bring in your legal documents. We're going to have our estate planning attorney review your estate plan and be certain that it's not an IOU to the IRS. And more importantly, we're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. I know we just finished paying our taxes and you have all your quarterly statements sitting on your desk. Throw them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone and give us a call. We're going to do a full portfolio x-ray to make certain that you're properly protected in this volatile marketplace. We're going to go through and review your portfolio to be certain you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, low cost, and high income. You know, we're going to be certain that your portfolio is diversified across asset classes and within asset classes. You can't believe how overcharged people are in their portfolio by what we call those hidden costs. Now, these costs are buried deep in the prospectus of a mutual fund or in that thick annuity contract that's sitting in your desk drawer. We want to be certain that you have the income you need to overcome inflation in your retirement years. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over 40 years. We want to help take your family from your personal point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So call or text us now at 844-752-6692. Get the full holistic review at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, you're one of the next 10 callers. We will run a full holistic financial master plan at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. 
888-992-9292. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial advice so you can protect yourself from making any bad decisions. Bob, what'd you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial pornography? Oh, right. I think I missed this one. I I was uh, out with a client the other day, a good dear friend, and he told me that he got a text from a fellow named Harry Dent a couple of months ago telling him that on April 1st, Right last week, the yep. Dow would be at sixteen thousand, and he waited anxiously. And I don't know if this is an April Fool's joke or just Harry Dent is losing his mind. But last I checked, the Dow's around twenty four, twenty five thousand. So he missed it by this much. <laughs> Harry Dent is one of these infamous for calling a bear market like every year, and then finally when you get a bear market. You know, he claims how how correct he is, but we forget he's been calling that same bear market the whole way as the market was going up, which a lot of these gurus do. Well, that's that's why it's so dangerous because here's someone who's been wrong for as long as I've been, you know, alive, and they keep putting them out there, especially when markets get volatile, right? As I read this, I went and researched this a little bit. It came up with another headline. We're right on the brink of a 50% stock market crash, expert says. Now, some expert I never heard of sold all his stocks in August of 2007. And of course, <laughs> all these experts that got out at the top, guess when they got back in, right? Never. Oh, no, I'm they got waiting. in right at the bottom, according to the article. Oh, but right, as we sure. talked about last week, remember the former um, head of economics at Merrill Lynch, uh, David Rosenberg? He predicted that you know the market was going to go into recession in 2007. And then last week, we had another article from him saying, oh, I see similar signs. Well, you know, what it's, what they don't tell you is that he called for a recession in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. You get the message, right? He never turns bullish. They're, they're bearish forever. And, you know, a lot of times these articles, you can't depend on them. They're the severest form of financial pornography out there. These perma bears that make you think they're really smart experts. Yeah, and it all just goes back to our our philosophy of there's no such thing as an all or none strategy. It's it's a bad game to play because, as we say, you don't have to be right once. You have to be right twice because not only do you have to get out of the market, you think there's going to be a crash. Then you have to figure out when to get back in the market, and it's a very very hard game to play. And that's not really investing. That's what we would call speculating, Bob. And you don't want to speculate with your retirement nest egg. That makes no sense. Well, you know, right. Feeds into your fear. And as I've learned and you've learned over our lifetimes, scared money never wins. You know, you can't yes. be an investor jumping in and out based on headlines. And there's plenty of headlines out there. I mean, that's how they sell, you know, their advertising. They want you to be fearful. They want you to be greedy. We want you to be a smart, informed, successful investor. Just a great reason to stay away from that profane uh, financial pornography. I found a really interesting article this week, and I think this speaks to Bob why we need to be diversified. And you know, going through the pages of Barrons, hmm. you know, we saw a big sell-off in tech in the last couple of weeks, and you might be finding out right now that you're a large tech investor and, even, and didn't even know it because if you look at the S and P 500 right now, statistically, it's about 25 percent tech. And furthermore, the big names like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook account for 14% of the index. That's a lot of money in tech that you probably don't even know you own just owning the S&P 500. You know, Rise, I always say um, history doesn't always repeat, but it often rhymes. The exact same thing happened in the late 90s. You had most investors own mutual funds. They didn't know what was in the mutual fund, right? Because mutual funds just the wrapper around a diversified portfolio. And just because the title of the mutual fund said it was growth or value or contra or total return, you don't know what the money manager is doing underneath unless you have a professional do an x-ray. And what oh. we found, right? What did we find back in the late 90s? Uh, it's the same thing we're finding right now because the, the mutual funds actually, instead of having a 25% weighting to tech, 
They have a 30% waiting to tech. So Mm -hmm. it's just like the late 90s, Bob, where the the managers of the funds now are going overweight in tech as well. So you may think I own the S&P 500 as an index. I own all these different mutual funds for diversification. And if you do an x-ray, you probably own way too much tech right now. You know, that's such a great point, Rye. Something you've been talking about for a couple of years now. Brilliantly, I may add. (laughs) No. (laughs) Of course, I'm sorry, did I say that wrong? Brilliantly, as you've pointed out over the years. Thank you. um, You know, it's so much smarter to be in low cost index funds than an actively traded mutual fund. And that message is resonating because there's trillions of dollars that have been transferred over, but there's still trillions of dollars left in mutual funds. But see, if you're a mutual fund manager, that's exactly what you're doing. You're taking more risk, hoping to, you know, overcome what can't be overcome, which outperforming the underlying index. So it's another reason to get the heck out of those funds and get into something that's low cost and more tax efficient and is not going to have, you know, some overweight in technology, just like it did two months ago when the market really got hammered in tech. And that's why it's so important to do a portfolio x-ray to find out at all the different firms where your money's held, how it's actually invested. Because it's not to say tech's a bad place to be. It's probably not a bad place to be. But we have an old saying, Bob, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And the last couple of weeks are a perfect example because tech got hit really, really hard. And that's why you want to make sure your money is spread out so that if it does get hit hard, that's not where most of your money is. It's the old Warren Buffett quote, when the tide goes out, you can see who's been swimming naked. Yeah, you know, Ryan, people are dumb. I mean, you're told everybody knows you're supposed to buy low, sell high. You know, people want to invest properly, but they don't know what's in the mutual fund because they read the wrapper. You know, they're, they're reading the advertising. You know, it's, it's so simple. You know, everybody knows you should buy something that's undervalued. You should buy value stocks now versus growth stocks. But if you're investing in a, in a value fund where the portfolio manager decides to violate the, the prospectus and, and buy more growth stocks, you know, you're making the right decision and you're buying the wrong product or you're being right. sold the wrong product because, you know, let's face it, salesmen sell stuff that's hot, right? They want to yep. buy things that, you know, are going to be easy to sell. You know, it's so hard to get people to invest in what's undervalued because it's not sexy. It's not, you know, it's harder to buy low, right? It's harder to be smart. Right. And that's why I think you need to, the, the, the moral story here is you need to know what you own. And here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we will run a full total financial master plan for you where we're going to figure out how diversified you really are. That's where we take every single statement you have. We load everything into a personalized portal for you, and we look at everything at a bird's eye view. That means a full x-ray of your entire portfolio. So we're going to look at diversification. We're going to break down how much tech do you have in your portfolio? Do you have money in other asset classes? If the market goes down, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to do that. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in those mutual funds that you own, in those annuities that you own, in those different brokerage products that you own. We're going to show you all your fees and show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. As you get closer to retirement and in retirement, you need a portfolio that generates a lot of current income. We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. And if you bring in your wills, your trusts, we'll have our estate planner review that to figure out what changes you may want to make to your estate plan. And if you bring in last year's tax return, we have our CPA partner. We'll review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't procrastinate. Pick up that phone. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. This is Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio.
From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. After a while, all that financial noise seems to run together. Anyone? Anyone? It's time for a fresh perspective. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, the two most charming hosts on financial radio, self-proclaimed Bob. <laughs> well, I know you're charming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm just um, an old dog with gray hair and scar tissue on my stomach lining. But a fantastic head of hair, Bob. Let's not discount <laughs> that. And, you know, Bob and I not only are charming... We want to educate you, and we do keep it simple. We've been doing this for over 40 years in terms of our, our investment philosophy and strategies. And that's why we put together our, our latest e-video course called What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, to 555 555- 888. It's a simple e-video course that'll just give you a baseline for what you need to do to get retirement ready. Make sure that you have everything covered. You simply have to text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest video. What you need to know about creating an income you can't outlive is simple. They're short, concise, get you up to speed with retirement planning. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888-888. 888, that's the word bullish, to 555-888. And if you want to check myself out and Bob out, check out Bob's hair, more importantly, simply go to bebullish.com and you can get all our latest shows up there. We put a lot of our, our latest articles that we like. Just keep you in the loop on information you need for your retirement and planning. And you can check me out most weeks on Tuesday at 11 with Stuart Varney on Fox Business News, along with other shows throughout the week. And if you ever have a question... You want to ask myself or Bob, simply email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. So Bob, the first question is for you. It comes in from Miles. He's in Westport, Connecticut. He writes in, Bob, which of my accounts should I withdraw from first when I retire? My 401k, my Roth IRA, my brokerage account that mainly consists of mutual funds or the extra cash that I have in the bank. How should Miles start taking his cash, Bob? Well, you know, Ry, it seems like a very simple question, right? You have a 401k. So when you start to withdraw from your 401k, if you're over 60, you don't have to pay a penalty, but it becomes ordinary income and you got to pay the IRS, you know, the tax debts due. Then you have an I- a Roth IRA, which is tax free forever, right? You didn't get any tax av- it wasn't tax advantageous to put the money in, but it's certainly tax advantageous to keep the money invested in a Roth IRA. Any withdrawals are not taxed at all. And the same thing with your brokerage account, right? You have mutual funds in that account, and you might, you know, you can take those out and you might have to liquidate them and pay capital gains tax, or you might have a capital loss depending on what type of fund you own. But and then you have cash in the bank, which is probably not yielding much. So you would think the easy answer would be right. you know, take the cash first. But that's not the case, is it, Ry? It's not well, that I, simple. I think the the rule of thumb, and you're right, it's not that simple. This is definitely something you want to do on an individual basis. Is but go for your cheapest money first, right? I mean, you know, we always say money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. But really looking at what's the most tax efficient way to pull your money over time. And Bob, you know, we take it a step further. We may even look at pulling from your IRA earlier just to get some money out of that IRA because when you turn 70 and a half and you have to take money out of your IRA, it's really a tax time bomb. Sure. And you also have, you might be in a lower tax bracket. Look how many clients last year, Rye, we recommended taking money from their 401k and rolling it into a Roth IRA, even though they had to pay tax, 
but it's going to be at a lower tax rate than when they're fully retired. Yeah. I mean, we did that with your money because when you have to start taking your distributions in about five years, Bob, it was going to be at a higher tax rate than you were able to get money out of your IRA or your 401k this past tax year. So there's a lot of things around planning that you need to do. And I think you know the rule of thumb there is you have to think about how expensive is the money that I'm going to withdraw from my portfolio to live on. You know, Ryan, that's why I count my blessings that I have a fiduciary like you, you know, giving me advice. Not only are you a fiduciary, but it's in your best interest to make sure my estate grows as much as possible while I'm still on God's green earth. I'm glad you brought that up because I'm doing such a good job that maybe I'm not charging you enough, Bob. I'm thinking maybe I could even <laughs> add a quarter point to your uh, your management fee uh, come this year. Not love and devotion. That's not enough fee for you. <laughs> <laughs> Show so, me right, that was Bob. a great question from Miles. And uh, I'm going to reach deep into the mailbag here. And I've got a question from Dorothy in Bryn Mawr, PA. I was just out there last week. Hey, Ryan, I'm 64 years old. I wanted to work until I was 66 or 67. So I was going to get serious about my financial plan in a year or so, but I just can't deal with my mouth breathing boss anymore. What do I need to have in place before I give them my notice and storm the heck out of here? All right, Dorothy, I, that, that boss sounds terrible. <laughs> Let's get you <laughs> retired. I, I think the first thing, and this is why that, that e-video course we have is really good. Step number one is tally up all the assets that you have. And that's why we always say bring everything in, You know, get all your statements together, because you really need to take an accounting, Bob, of what your statements are and where the heck your money is. That's mm-hmm. step one, in my opinion. Yeah, it is, right. And, and you know, the other thing is, you should always be serious about your financial plan. You shouldn't start at 64. Any age is a good time to start. Best time to start is when you have your first dollar to save. But it's so important to know what you have and know why you have it. I find more and more, Ryan, when people are in their 60s, they don't know where anything is. Yeah. And that's why I love our amazing 360 financial portal, because it gives you an opportunity to get everything together. And then we can load it into one place. You don't have like a gazillion passwords. You have one password. You get an update of all your values across the board. And then it's like, okay, now we have the data to work with. And we have that data to work with. We can start figuring out the next big step, Bob, and that's just what are my expenses? And that's a very therapeutic exercise, in my opinion. You know, it's not even just that, right? It's, it's the whole package. You know, with a lot of our uh, clients we've been with for a long time and have been very successful in their portfolio strategies, you know, they have more of the money than they'll ever need. They have way more money than they could ever spend. And we're spending a lot of time now at paying capital management working with their heirs and looking at their trust and looking at their strategies because, you know, for a 20 or 30 year old, they're able now to max out their 401k or take advantage of an HSA because of the large guests of their parents. And that comes from planning. You know, unless someone tells them to start gifting that money or setting up those trusts, a lot of that stuff doesn't get done. And then the big beneficiary is the IRS. And I don't know about you. I don't know anybody loves the IRS. Well, render to Caesar what's Caesar's, but don't give many of yours. <laughs> as our, as one of our favorite <laughs> no, quotes. No truer words are ever spoken. <laughs> It is the dynamics of generational planning. And and also what I love to do is just run that income optimizer, right? Figure out, can we generate enough income so that when you stop working, you can supplement the income from your portfolio without touching your principal? And a lot of times you can do that, but you just need to set up your portfolio correctly. And that's the whole value of doing a holistic financial plan. You know, Ryan, it really drives me crazy that every advisor doesn't have the 360 financial portal because otherwise it's just their words against your fear as an investor. You know, why listen to someone give you a sales pitch when you can see online every day what you're worth, how your plan's going, how you're tracking towards your goals. It's that simple. And you know, how many people do you encounter that on a scale of one to 10 are financially organized? Where would you say they, they typically stand? Well, first off, Bob, if it drives you crazy, it drives me crazy. And it does drive me crazy because most of us are like a three. We don't quite know where everything is. We don't quite have a formulated tally up of all of our assets. And I believe everybody should be a 10. If you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life, if you'd like to have all of your financial documents organized and simplified, all you have to do is give us a call be one of our next few callers. And if you've saved over 200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. That means all of your assets will be updated in real time on a daily basis into one simple view. In addition, on your screen, you'll see how you're tracking towards your retirement goal, towards gifting to your grandchildren, towards your estate plan, you know, to your income. 
you'll see everything net of inflation and taxation, not just for today, but for every year for the rest of your life. And if you're one of our next few callers, we're going to create for you, not just your own 360 financial portal, but we're gonna give you our total financial master plan. We're gonna review your taxes with our CPA partner. We're gonna look at your estate plan and make sure it's not an IOU to the IRS. And most importantly, we're gonna do a complete analysis which will answer the age old question that you all wonder about, is my money gonna outlive me or am I gonna outlive my money utilizing strategies that paying capital management has now been perfecting for 40 years. We wanna help take your family, like we've helped thousands of families get from their financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, we have a couple slots left. Call now or text at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. It's a full holistic financial review at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a soon to be retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure that you are ready for retirement. That's why we put together our latest e-online learning course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, just gives you the basics to get started so you're retirement ready. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. 888, we're going to give you some simple steps to get the retirement planning process started. That's what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can check it out for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. And it's time for my favorite segment of the show, our spotlight segment where we actually dissect a real financial plan and uncover what we call the flaws or pain points, that's P-A-Y-N-E for the record, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very special guest on the show this morning, my colleague, Jen, financial angel. Good morning, Jen. Thanks for being on the show. Good morning, Pains. How are we? <laughs> Good. Jen, now that you're here, all is right with the world. I know, I know. <laughs> and so humble as always. Jen, did you get any sleep last night? Bob, no. <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> As uh, many don't know, Jen's uh, studying for her CFA, Certified Financial Analyst, which is a extremely difficult test. Yes, it is. So I won't be sleeping for the next couple of months. <laughs> Stronger than me, Jen. Stronger than me. Well, Jen, you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown and just you know some of the things that you did to get this couple retirement ready? Yeah, so it was this couple in their early 60s. They have one child who's about to be off to college, so they're really looking to kind of make that next step, kind of being on their own, empty nesters, and really looking to kind of figure out what their pensions, what their 401ks, what their all retirement assets, you know, what's the best options for them. And they do have some properties, so they have some rental income, 
that they can you know, hopefully partially live off of. You know, you can't depend on those things because, you know, you housed on the shore, you might have a sandy situation or, you know, whatever else. So we want to make sure that we have other income coming in from their investments and their pensions, not just the rental income. Right. So basically the first thing you did was you tallied up all the assets and you looked at, okay, here's all the income streams you have coming in. But when you stop working, kind of what's your income gap? Right. And they definitely, I mean, just based on what they're spending, because they have all these properties, so expenses constantly are coming up. You know, they're still putting their you know kid through college, so they still have to worry about that. That's not done yet. I mean, it was out of the house, but, you know, they still have to worry about that expense as well. So, you know, if they were to retire tomorrow, what does that look like? And so we looked at all their investment accounts. So that was the first thing. And, you know, some of them, you know, obviously, in any 401ks while you're working, you're limited to whatever those options are in there. Right. Mm-hmm. And turns out this plan actually wasn't so bad expenses wise. You know, it wouldn't have the, the highest expenses I've ever seen, which was kind of surprising. But again, you're limited to those four or five options in the plan, which is just crazy. Yeah. Like no diversification. I'm looking here. It's a lot of large cap yeah. growth stocks, Shocker. which means <laughs> lots of technology, which has done great. But the problem is, we talked about this earlier on the show, it's kind of like you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yeah. So yes, yes, the US markets have done really well, but will they going forward? You know, Who knows? But really at the time is diversify now. So that was one. And looking at the income overall, just in the investment portfolio, you know, getting into a more diversified strategy, lowering the costs, better diversification. We increased their portfolio by almost 40000 in just income. That's wow. powerful. Yeah. So that's huge. I mean, that's one year in school for their son. And that's, you know, vacations. That's all these things that they want to do when they actually do retire. So that is definitely a huge thing for them. So we looked at the investment portfolio. And the second part was looking at the husband has all of these different pension options. Yes. Doesn't have a lump sum option, which, you know, pensions are kind of few and far between these days, but some people do have them. And then looking at, okay, what is the best option for them? Because he has to worry about his wife and his son. So does he take a lesser amount annually and have make sure that his wife is also taken care of? You know, so it's jointly a joint payout or does he take a higher payout and, you know, get a higher benefit for himself? But it also ends when he passes away, which is more than likely going to be before her. Right. So what we did was look at, okay, if we took the higher amount just for him, what could we do with that extra cash flow? And one of the options we are going to show them, and it did show them, is, okay, we could take this amount and put it into a life insurance policy for her. So basically take this extra 10 grand a year in premiums, quote unquote, and add it to a life insurance policy for her. Right. Which was a great idea. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a really good idea. So basically, he'll get the higher benefit, and you know, if he does pass away, she'll get this lump sum life insurance policy, and that kind of offsets, so, you know, so she's taken care of no matter kind of what happens. Great job here, Jen, financial angel, on just getting all these holistic issues. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to figure out how to optimize my income for retirement. I need to convert my portfolio from a growth engine to a wealth distribution plan. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Jen Financial Angel will run for you. Our famous total financial master plan will do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full review where we look at everything. So if you bring in all of your statements, even if you bring in your tax return, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. If you bring off those old wills and trusts, dust them off, we'll have our state planner review that to make sure that is up to date. And then we're going to load all of your investments in to one financial portal for you so you can look at everything at a bird's eye view. And we're going to do a full x-ray of your portfolio. We're going to look at income. We're able to almost double this couple's income. $70,000 a year is real money. Can we increase the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Do you have a lot of expensive insurance products, mutual funds? We're going to show you how to reduce the cost on your portfolio, and we're going to look at diversification. Are you protected against the next market downturn? We're going to show you where the pitfalls are in your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together, and we're going to determine that age-old question are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, do you have an income plan in place where your money's going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B. 
with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial masterpiece with no obligation, with no cost. Just give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another fantastic show. Jen, so when do you actually have to take this CFA exam so all our listeners can keep track? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, it's June 23rd, so I got a, I had a little while to go, but Oof. it's coming up. I'll prepare the champagne. Exactly. So (laughs) June 24th, we're having a party. (laughs) (laughs) I'm ready. Everyone, you heard that. Big party. I'm running a boat. Yeah. (laughs) Big Bob. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, my man. Well, we're all heading to the man cave, getting ready for Master Sunday. It's going to be a fast and furious finish. (laughs) I love it. Well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.